Let's take a look how we can split pane groups and move toolbars in Das Studio. Hello everyone, I'm Jay and on this channel we're helping you become better 3D artists with Das Studio. On today's episode I want to show you how you can move toolbars around and how you can split panes in Das Studio. This is a question that I got a couple of weeks ago and I thought, hey, we haven't actually delved deep into this. I have spoken about how to customize your user interface in one of the masterclass videos. I'm going to link to that in the description. Uh, today we're going to talk about how we can go and deal with these icons here and split these tabs on the side. Let's start with the toolbars here. So anything that has icons, that's usually grouped as part of a toolbar. I currently have four here. This is one. And then that ends at the top here where that little divider happens. This is a divider. Uh, everything that extends to the right of it belongs to this toolbar. There's another divider here. That is another toolbar. And then there's another one here. And that's the fourth toolbar that I have. So if I wanted to move any of these around, maybe they're running off the screen, I want to dock them somewhere else, I can go and left click and drag this divider once my cursor changes. So the icons highlight, but when they don't, and when they turn into this little double arrow, that is when I can left click and drag one of the toolbars out. And you can see what happens here. I can either drag it off, and then I have a floating toolbar, or I can left click and drag this divider and dock it somewhere else, either in a different position, or I I can also go and slide it underneath the existing toolbars or even on the sides here. Let's start with the underneath option here. So this is now the same toolbar as before, just in a different position. Or I can just left click and drag that over into a different slot here. If I'm thinking, hey, I'd like for that to be on the left, and then I'd like to see my tools, and then I don't want to see the space here, so I can go and left click and drag this over here. That's how I can reorder them. You may have seen some layouts like the city limits layout that has icons on the left and right as well. And we can make that happen by just left clicking and dragging any of these off and then just dropping them on the left hand side here that slots the tools right into there. Or I can do the same on the right hand side, left click and drag the toolbar out and then dock it on the right until the interface kind of snaps into place here. And then that's my toolbar over there. You can even do this below the viewport. So if you fancy like having icons all around your viewport, you can do that as well. Left click and drag this off and then just go and dock it in the bottom here like so. And then you have icons all the way around. So if you're an icon person, this is what you can do with that studio. Let me go and bring these back. That's number three. This is scene tools number two that goes in here. And then we have scene tools number one, left click and drag, and I'll put that over here. So by the way, before you start playing with this, if you want to make some interface changes, I strongly recommend you head over to window workspace and then save your layout because there's no undo. If my toolbars or my paints that we're going to talk about now are docked in the wrong places as a result of you having dragged them into positions that you didn't want, there's no undo from this. So before you make any changes, make sure to save your layout if you ever want to bring it back. So the panes here, this is something that took me a while to get my head around. We have these tabs, they're called the tabs or the panes, and I can change between them, but they're all grouped together with what's known as, well, a group really. So all these tabs that are here on the left hand side, they're part of a docked group. And I can left click and drag one of these out, then that tab becomes a standalone group that is now floating. So this thing here at the top, once again with the double arrow, once I hover, that is called a group. And inside of the group is a tab or a pane. I can add other tabs to this if I grab, say, my parameters tab here, left click and drag that into the new group, then I have two tabs in a new group. But what I can also do is take the whole group and put it into a different position that where I currently don't have a group. So for example, I could grab this whole group and put it onto my other monitor if I wanted to and maximize that. But I could also split, say, this portion of my docked group in half by left clicking and dragging over to the top. You see that little yellow strip that appears here? That is where 
that whole group would now slot in. If I let go of it, that's where it is. So it's a little bit difficult to see because it's collapsed. So I need to go and open this up a bit. But now I have two tabs at the top and then several tabs at the bottom. And that now means I have two groups. This is a group and this is also a group. So if you ever needed to split a space, you can do that. So let me show you another example. If I wanted to have my content library and my smart content both displayed at the same time on the left hand side, I could go and left click and drag my smart content out. That now becomes a new group. And this group left click and drag can be docked into the top or at the bottom. I can also go and dock it at the bottom down here uh, where that short yellow strip is. Notice that if I go and put that slightly further down or even at the middle of the screen at the center here further, then I see a long yellow strip and that means it's now going to be docked into the position above my timeline and that's probably not what I want even though you know that is possible if you want to do that you can dock that everywhere if you don't want to have that you just left click and drag the tab out if it's a single tab left click and drag that to the bottom with the short yellow strip here and then it snaps right into place there but this is happening because a single tab being docked creates a new group so if I go and left click and drag that out that group at the bottom, it kind of disintegrates because it no longer exists. If I go and put my parameters tab back into this new group, so left click and drag over here, I can also do that with multiple tabs. So left click and drag this, for example, at the top where that little yellow strip appears, drop it down there, and then I have two tabs here and then several tabs on the bottom. I can undock this whole group now also with this little hamburger icon. If I left click onto this, there's this option undock pane group and that now dislodges the whole group and leaves the tabs together intact but then creates a floating group of that like so pretty much like what we had before that we created ourselves so that is how you can do that if you ever needed to split something in half or if ever you needed to move toolbars around that's how you can do that let me go bring my bits and pieces back to where they were so that i'm kind of you know used to this layout here and that kind of makes me happy i hope this was helpful if you do have any other questions then do leave them down below in the comments and i'm happy to make a video about it thank you so much for watching i will see you next time take care bye bye